Hello, YouTube. I'd like to take a minute and welcome you guys to the first ever five minute Friday video. I feel like my videos have been getting a bit lengthy here recently. So in this new series, I'm gonna challenge myself to deliver some useful info to you guys in under five minutes, complete with code and rye. Let's go ahead and throw five minutes on the clock and see how I do. First up, the fun part. The rye. This week, it's wild turkey rare breed barrel proof. Clocking in at a relatively tame 112.2 proof, it's really a decent pour at a very fair price as far as ryes are concerned. All right, now for the useful part. Today, I'm gonna show you how to add an uptime card to your dashboard and how to configure the sensor to drive it. Now, I use this card to monitor my internet connection, but it can be used to monitor any IP-based device that you want. So. First thing we're going to do is jump into configuration.yaml and add the four lines that you see here from 86 to 89. This creates a binary sensor called Internet Reachable and pings 8.8.8.8, which is one of Google's DNS server IPs. It'll ping that IP every 15 seconds. Then the next thing I'm going to do is head over to Hacks and add the uptime card. If you don't have Hacks installed, I'll leave a link in the description where I showed how to get that set up. Get that card downloaded, then reload your browser. Once that's downloaded, let's head on over to the information tab in the dashboard. What's that? You don't have an information tab? Let me walk you through mine real quick and show you why you need one. Here's my information view. First off, I've got a chip that tells me if my backups are good or not. Green for good, red for bad. Pretty easy. Next up is the internet connectivity tracker. You can see I had a bit of an issue last night. Then below the internet connectivity card, I've got just some kind of dirty informative stuff, but this is the information tab, right? The kitchen tablet switch lets me know if the wall mounted tablet in the kitchen is charging or not. I wired up a Casa switch to control the outlet behind the tablet and control the charging there based on the state of the battery in the tablet. Pretty slick. Then the four person entities let me know where Home Assistant thinks our mobile devices are and whether or not it thinks they're connected to the Wi-Fi. We got into that a bit in the device trackers episode. The next two show me if there's anybody on my guest Wi-Fi network. One gives me an actual count and the other is a binary sensor that I can use in automations. See, it shows one. My mother-in-law was over today spending some time with our son. Then I've got a domain counts card over here. This automatically shows counts for all the various types of things in Home Assistant. It's really just a nerd panel and doesn't serve any useful purpose other than internet dick measuring, but here we are. So, the internet connectivity card. Here's the code for it. These are the settings that I use for it. I'm not gonna run through each and every one of them. A lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. If you wanna nerd out and dig into all the various options and types of displays, I'll throw a link to the GitHub docs down in the description. For those of you that think this is cool and want to use it just like this, the real important bit is the entity on line two. That's where you specify the binary sensor we created in the config file at the beginning of the video to monitor whatever it is that you want to monitor. Hey, listen, if you don't want to pause the video and type all this code in, my patrons have access to it over on patreon.com. Stop in, help support the channel, get all sorts of exclusive benefits such as access to code, early access to ad-free videos, free t-shirts, access to the FHT Discord channel, where it's a lot easier to help with problems, and more. Win-win for everybody. Check the description for a link. Well, I hope I made it under the five minute mark. I guess we'll see once I sit down and start editing. Anyway, I hope I was able to show you guys something new, and I hope you're digging the channel. I hope you like today's shirt. It sure does seem to sum up humans in the 21st century, doesn't it? Please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for me so the algorithm knows that this video didn't suck. Thanks for watching, and until next time, go automate something, will ya?